Hi friends, welcome back. Welcome to a very important PYQ analysis where I'm going to talk about a new pattern of questions coming in the UPSC prelims examination in recent year from the history section. Guys, if you have analyzed the last couple of years UPSC prelims paper, you will observe that there has been a paradigm shift in the UPSC prelims paper from prelims 2020. After the prelims 2020, you see the pattern of questions coming in the UPSC prelims has completely changed. And if you are not preparing as per the new pattern, you will lose marks in the UPSC prelims paper. So guys, today I'm going to talk about a new pattern of questions which are coming in the UPSC history section for the past three years. And this will help you to prepare in the right direction because if you are preparing the same book, but you are not having the right mindset, what kind of questions UPSC will frame on the topic, then you, even after you have read the topic, you might leave the questions. So guys, let us start without wasting a time. So I'll show you the three questions which have come on the new pattern. Guys, that new pattern is dates. Guys, if you see the prelims paper before 2020, if you see prelims paper before 2020, never UPSC used to, used to focus on dates. But from the prelims 2020, you will see UPSC is focusing on dates. You can see this question which came in prelims 2023, 7th August, National Handloom, National Handloom Day, and it linked it to the Swadeshi movement. Next again, you can see here, Prelims 2021, 8th August, okay, Quit India Resolution. Then again, you see another question in 2021, 21st February. Then it is linked to the Language Day and something related to the, okay, Bangladesh history, something related to the Bangladesh history, Constituent Assembly of Pakistan. You can see here. So this type of questions are increasing in the UPSC prelims paper. So what you have to do is that you have to prepare important dates also. Previously used to focus on year and chronology. If you see UPSC used to focus on years and chronology, UPSC never used to ask about dates. But in the last two, three years, UPSC is focusing on important dates also and they are focusing on significant dates. You can see here, it, it talks about International Mother Language Day by UNICEF. Previous question was on Handloom Day. So guys, what I have done is that I have prepared an important list of the dates where questions can come. Like for example, probable question can be why 26th of Jan is celebrated as a Rubber Republic Day. This can come 26th of Jan or they can ask you why 9th of Jan is celebrated as the Pravasi Divas because that day Gandhiji returned to India. So this can be a probable question. 26th Jan, why? Because of the Purna Swaraj declaration. 6th April, because of Gandhiji breaking the SALT law. Or Sahid Divas, 23rd March 1931, because of execution of uh, our freedom fighter Bhagat Singh. Or they can ask you on 23rd March 1940, Pakistan Day resolution. Or they can ask you on this direct action day, 16th August 1946. Or they can ask you about this 14th August Partition Horror Day Remembrance. This can be asked. Or 26th of November Constitution Adoption Day. I have prepared this list. You can go through this list. This can be a probable question. Guys, the only key to crack the UPSC prelims examination is to understand the pattern and prepare in the right pattern and the direction. Because if suppose you are you are preparing, you are preparing the Swadeshi movement. Suppose you are preparing the Swadeshi movement, but you don't know that UPSC can even ask the dates also. So you may miss, you may overlook it. Similarly, you there are sections where generally you people used to okay skip it. For example, you see in the prelims 2023, there were at least two questions in the economy section where UPSC has framed questions using facts. So previously we used to say that, okay, facts are not that important for the prelims examination, but you see now UPSC is focusing on fact. How much is the groundwater percentage? How much is the exports share of Indian economy in the world economy? These kinds of facts UPSC is using to frame questions. So guys, in the history section, particularly in the modern India, these dates which I have shared with you, very, very important. Please go through it 
and if you guys like the kind of analysis which i have been doing and you want me to do and continue these analysis please do like the video share the video with your friends and please do comment which other subjects you want me to make such videos thank you bye bye take care